All right, so for the uh, rest of this semester, uh, we're going to be looking into Chapter 7 and dealing with statistics. Um, we're going to look at some um, calculations, some graphs, um, and mostly looking at data, Okay, which is a, just a list of numbers. Usually they represent something interesting. Um, and so today we're actually going to start by looking at what we call measures of center. It's the, uh, if you take a list of numbers or a data set, um, these four items kind of give you an idea of the center of the data, or some, there's some feature about the data, I guess the range is more the spread of the data, but um, these four things give you some information about um, how the data is distributed. Okay, and so we're going to look at four different things. The mean, which is the average, same thing, they're synonymous words, and we've seen this before. We've seen the average, oops, we've seen the average. It's just the sum of all the data divided by the number of data items. Okay, so we've seen that basically just if you get a list of numbers, a set of data, you add up all the numbers and then divide by the number of numbers. Okay, so we've seen that before. Um, the median mode and range are all new. Uh, the median is the middle of the data when arranged in order. Okay, so if I take a set of data, I put it in order from smallest to largest, or vice versa, it doesn't matter, and you look at the very center of the data, the center of the list, that's the median. Now that's really easy if you have an odd number of data points because in an odd number of data points the center is one of the data points or data items. But if you have an even number of data items, the center is not in uh, the center is not one of the data items itself. Uh, it's actually uh, the average of the middle two. Okay, we'll see an example of each in a few minutes. I'll explain that better. Uh, the mode, the mode here is the data item that occurs the most often. Okay, so in a mode or in a set of data, you often have some numbers that appear more than once, um, and so the ones that occur the most are going to be the mode. Now, it is also possible to not have a mode if everything occurs the same number of times. So like every, if every number is there one time, you don't have a mode. And if um, it is also possible to have more than one mode if, let's say, you had two different data items that occurred three times and everything else occurred once, then those two that occurred three times would both be the mode. So you can have more than one mode, you can have no mode, um, or you can have one mode. Uh, the range is the difference between the largest and the smallest data items. Okay, so the range basically tells you how wide the data is spread from minimum to maximum, from smallest to largest. So you just subtract the two numbers on the end after you've arranged them for the median. Okay, so we're going to use these four ideas. Um, to go through a few examples.